to whom it may concern. My name is Matthew Jeffers. I'm a senior at Towson University majoring in acting, and I've been a diehard Ravens fan since Baltimore welcomed you with open arms in 1996. He sends us a letter, and usually I don't get these letters, but you can send emails here at the Ravens, and uh, frankly, they screen most of those. But this was one I read, and it just, it just knocked me off my feet. As you, the Ravens, continue to battle through tough losses and heated criticism. The conversation has to shift to what needs to be done to get off this losing streak in time for the playoffs. It sucks to lose three or four straight games. We took that on the chin. We were not happy about it, because nobody likes losing. Let me let you in on a little secret. Life doesn't care about streaks. It does not care if you want to win, if you need to win. At the end of the day, life is simply unfair. I'm short statured. I'm 21 years old, but stand only at four foot two. Over my lifetime, I have endured 20 surgeries, some small, others life-threatening. I have had a tracheotomy. I have had blood transfusions. I had to learn how to walk again. My last surgery was in 2003, and I acquired the naive mindset that I was free from the bondage of heartache. When you read the letter, you just it, it draws you in. We sent it to our guys, and our guys just, man, just I, could, I got emails back right away. This is great. This is awesome. This is unbelievable. Anytime you hear about somebody's story like that, it's just, you know, heart-wrenching for me because I've been through a lot of adversity and I would consider myself a tough guy. Then in 2011, my mother was diagnosed with a stage four brain tumor. As I write this, the doctors at Johns Hopkins are determining whether or not the next step should be hospice care. So you tell me, is life fair? When you give every ounce you have and all you have to show for it is a loss in overtime, is that fair? Then he hits you right between the eyes with the, with the realities that life does not care about feeling sorry for yourself, about self-pity. What it does respond to is a positive attitude. Well, let me tell you this. The only disability in life is a bad attitude. The only disability in life is a bad attitude. A positive attitude is the most powerful combatant to life's misfortunes. The will to fight, the will to survive, to win. I repeat, the only disability in life is a bad attitude. Life is your attitude, how you approach whatever, whatever happens to you. And I tell you, I get choked up talking about it right now. I think about these stories and it pushes me over the top to work harder, to not complain, to realize that I'm blessed to be where I'm at. When you play on Sunday, let it not be to silence the critics. Let it be a dedication to that simple yet powerful notion that life can be conquered with the right outlook. I promise you that everything else will take care of itself. Go get them on Sunday. I wish you all the best on your journey to the Lombardi.